In this video, I'm going to talk about remote span or R span. In the last video, I talked about uh, local span. So, like I said, I'm going to talk about remote span. So, remote span is basically you have your span source and uh, destination located on different switches and those switches could be uh, located uh, in different locations also so <clears throat> um, here uh, we have a topology uh, switch one switch two so let's imagine Let's imagine that these uh, switches are located in different locations, <clears throat> and this there could be, you know, um, there could be another uh, switches here. There could be another switches here, right? A uh, switch here. But just to make things simple, I'm just showing two switches. And of course, you know, uh, these switches are connected uh, using trunk ports. So, yeah. So, here uh, we have our client and our server. And they are uh, connected to the same switch. And client is connected to gig zero slash one, server is connected to gig zero slash two. <clears throat> so, as uh, I said before, if you want to uh, monitor the traffic uh, that is going on between these hosts or between the client and the server, you cannot just uh, connect a a analyzer. A network analyzer and uh, monitor the traffic because the switch uh, it just you know it forwards the the packets based on its destination and uh, and uh, uh, basically it knows where to forward the uh, where where to forward the the frames based on. Uh, its destination it, it doesn't always the switch doesn't always floods the the frames to all the ports so the, your network network analyzer cannot just uh, get get those uh, frames from the switch so you need to uh, use uh, scan or port mirroring uh, which you know uh, catalyst switches do have <clears throat> so yeah let's talk about how to configure our pen or remote span so uh, here uh, we are configuring the source switch or basically the the uh, the switch where the so where the uh, source is connected to you. So uh, first off you need to configure the VLAN uh, because here in this situation <clears throat> or in this scenario uh, our destination here is actually a remote VLAN. So as you can see uh, you have to uh, configure the uh, VLAN uh, in this case, I'm using 99, VLAN 99, and this is just optional, but you know, to make things easier to see, I'm using RSPAN as the name of the VLAN, and this is important uh, uh, because uh, this is where you actually uh, say that this. VLAN is a remote span VLAN 
and like I said, this is uh, I mean, this is how you configure the source uh, the source port, in this case, this is our source port because this client is connected to that port and like I said earlier, uh, the destination is the is actually the uh, the remote VLAN so in this case VLAN 99 so and this is how that's that's it how uh, that's how you would configure your uh, uh, your source I mean your local uh, span or yeah your local span or your local uh, your source span rather and let's configure uh, let's take a look how you would configure switch two so um, <clears throat> of course you know the the sort the destination port is gig one slash twenty four because that is the your sniffer or your network anal network analyzer is connected to. So monitor session session two. As you can see, I'm not using the same session because uh, session numbers because session numbers are locally significant. Uh, so session monitor session number two source. <clears throat> so our source here is actually the remote VLAN that is that that remote VLAN that we configured on uh, switch one so here remote VLAN remote VLAN so here in switch on switch one the destination is remote, remote VLAN uh, but here the source is remote VLAN is the remote VLAN 99 so basically uh, what we are doing here is we're actually um, uh, transferring the traffic over the traffic coming in and going out of uh, the source port. We are actually uh, transferring that traffic over to remote VLAN 99. And from, from remote VLAN 99, we are actually transmitting that traffic over to the destination port on switch 2 that is what basically we are doing on switch 2 and of course you know uh, the we can use show monitor to verify our configurations and uh, if you want to of course see the actual configuration we can just use we can just do a show run uh, pipe include and the uh, monitor keyword so switch one show run hi hope you can still see it monitor to see the actual configurations so like I said <clears throat> I mean just to uh, um, uh, just to emphasize, uh, <clears throat> you need to also uh, configure your trunk ports to carry traffic uh, from VLAN 99. So you need to configure your VLAN 99 on your trunk ports. And of course, <clears throat> uh, you need to also configure it on the transit switch. Uh, in this case, this could be switch 3 here. And of course, uh, the VLAN 99 should <clears throat> uh, exist on switch 1, switch 3, and switch 2. And should be allowed on the trunk ports, trunk ports between these switches. Uh, so yeah, that's it for a remote scan or port mirroring. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.